Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Mike, and this is the Alpha to Destiny. A game coming out in September, developed by Bungie on PS4 and Xbox One, and also PS3 and Xbox 360. It's an MMO, uh, made by the same people who made Halo. So it's a first person shooter with a bit of like co-op, just a whole MMO feel to it I think. So it's going to probably play similar to Borderlands, but imagine Borderlands in an MMO environment in terms of loot and, you know, purchasing gear from vendors, selling stuff, picking, doing dungeons and stuff like that. So we're going to see what the character creation is looking like. Okay, so here we have the um, choose your class screen. All right, there's three classes it looks like, Titan, Hunter and Warlock. Let's have a little look at what each of these classes can do. So you're an armoured engine of war, control any battle with strength and strategy. Maybe that's like a tank kind of character, like tank DPS. Right, striker, smash the ground and dissolve enemies in the maelstrom of arc light. That's one of the abilities that you get. At level 15 you get defender. Yeah, that seems tanky. You know, you put a big bubble um, shield around yourself to protect yourself and allies. We've got hunter, you're a master of let's see, frontier. Stalk and kill your enemies with ruthless precision. It's like a sniper slash stealth looking character, gunslinger. That's the first ability you get, it looks like. Summon a flaming pistol which distinct disintegrates enemies at solar light. And you get blade dancer, charge your blade out with arc light and consume your foes with lightning. Yeah. Okay, and then we got Warlock. It looks like a bit of a magey character. I don't know, sort of like Warlock since that's what it's called. The universe bends to your will, manipulate its energies to annihilate your foes. I like the sound of that. Annihilate <laughs> Voidwalker. So you hurl an explosive bolt of void light at the enemy, disintegrating those cores within the blast. They like the word disintegrate in this game, don't they? Just melt your enemies. It's like an AoE attack, this the Voidwalker it looks like, a big blast. And Fire Singer. Feed yourself with solar light, dramatically increasing the effectiveness of all your abilities. That's like a self buff that you get. Right, so we got a tank kind of character, a sniper slash like stealth, and just a damage dealer. It looks like. I think I'm gonna go for warlock because I kind of like the high damage like stuff. I'm not a big fan of stealth and tanky. If I'm gonna be playing this solo for quite a bit before we get to any group stage stuff, it's gonna take a while to kill stuff. I think so. I'm gonna go with warlock. All right, this is where you customize your people. Go, what's that? Customize your appearance. Okay, here's the races. We've got human. I'm gonna go for male, seeing as that's what I am. Okay, it's just a human, yeah. Awoken. It's kind of like a night elf looking thing from World of Warcraft. An exo. Okay, exos are robots. I think maybe I have a human or a. Hmm. I wonder if you can change the skin color so it's not purple. There we go, skin color. Let's go EXO, because we're already human aren't we, so why not be something different in the game, in what universe where you can be what you want. I'm going to change his hair before anything else, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not loving the hair just yet. Or the eye, eye makeup, I might change that as well. Oh, what hair? Let's change the hair colour first, let's go for a darker colour. Orange? No, oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's go for black. Can we turn his head around? Doesn't look like. It's like Hitler haircut. Um, hmm, there's a lot of stylish haircuts. Nothing too normal looking. Huh, can't really see the top of his hair with that, the darkness in the background. I'll go with this one, I think. Kind of like a barbarian looking. Alright, back to face. I'm not going to play around with this too much, seeing as it's only alpha. We're just testing the game out. Stick go with that for now. Go for a greyish skin colour. Lip colour, let's have it the same as my face. Oh, it's a bit too white though. Greyish. Yeah, that'll do. Eye colour, yeah, that's fine. Markings. Like, so you can give yourself like tribal tribal markings. I'm gonna remove them, because I don't really I'm not a big fan of that type of stuff. Okay, let's continue. So we are a warlock um awoken. New mission, the dark within, head to Skywatch. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty game. See objective, what the hell? Summon vehicle, go to orbit. 
summon a, summon a vehicle. Hang on, what did I just press? The pad. Square summon a vehicle. I press circle. So you hold it. Whoa, hello. Okay. Whoa, with these guys. Shoot me. How do you get off the vehicle? Let's shoot them back. Okay, so you get damage numbers when you shoot stuff. Squares reload. As it should be. Where's my vehicle gone? Okay, guess it's being dismissed. Okay, where are we heading? Is this gonna is this map show is a mark on the map I think that's showing me where to go. Let's get the vehicle back out. Wait. R2's brake. That's a weird button for brake. You know this place must have been amazing before the collapse. Thousands of humans boarding the colony ships, off to build cities beyond. And now the fallen, just picking its bones. I think that's the voice acting there, that person who's talking, is um, Peter Dinklage, who's the Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones, the dwarf. Which is pretty cool. I like his voice. He's like my um, kind of narrator telling me what's going on in the story. What are these things? Do we have a map? I'm, is that I'm not sure on the mini map if that's showing me where to go or if it's just showing me north? Because quite a lot of the time you get like a marker on the mini map showing me where the north is. I'm gonna head towards that way. I think. Let me just quickly see. Push into the older ray domes and find the fallen. Are, what the fallen are protecting? Oh, there we go. There's a marker. Cool. Let me bring this up. We get a marker. So let's head over to there on the screen. Oh, there, it stays there. I think I was always there, I just didn't see it. Alright, let's go. I think this is the right way. I'm guessing this is just like a, a placeholder for the start of the game for the moment. This probably won't be the actual start and place of the game once it's um, released, because it's still quite a few months away. September. Up the hill, the building with the radar. That's the Skywatch. The building with the radar. That's where we're heading. Okay. There's going to be some enemies there defending it, I can imagine. Let's boost on over. Does the boost last forever? It's got a good duration to it. Alright, where's the entrance to this place? There we go, there's some stairs going up there. I think we better jump off. Oh god. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, so the controls are um, similar to any other first person shooter. You know, sprint with the left, pushing in the left stick. Aim at L2, shoot R2. Let's see if we got grenades. Oh, what's that? That's my ability, it looks like, for my class. Didn't get to use it just right because I was so far away from the enemies. There you go, it's like a force push. Oh, and that's something else. That's L1. I don't know what the hell that was actually doing. Oh, shit. Okay, my health bar is at the top. Okay, so the bottom left, you can see that's my ability I just used, the purple thing. Um, that's the cooldown for it. it, looks like filling up again. So once that's filled up, we'll try and use it again. I think that's just kind of like a melee attack, that one. This guy's got some health. Oh, we, got, we got, haven't got unlimited ammo either, so we've got to be pretty careful on making our shots count. Can I pick up ammo from these guys? Doesn't really look like. Okay, so... We're heading... In any direction, I think. There's no actual marker on the screen. Oh, there we go. Whenever you bring this up, it shows you where you've got to go. We're in. This was one of Skywatch's old array stations, a link to the lunar colonies. Okay. So it's an abandoned array station. Looks like it's being um, lived in by these alien looking things. Darkness zone. There's a door. Dead end. Fallen sealed this gate. I can get it open. Okay, so Peter Dinklage is the ghost. The Fallen really didn't want anybody getting in. Or out. So is that voice... The, the voice of the actual... The device, or is it another a guy that's like watching it from a camera room somewhere? Let's try and it's dark, isn't it? Let's try and use our ability Lots this time. Of motion ahead, 
Let's see what I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, see what it actually does. Okay. It's dark. I don't like this. It starts to become a bit scary. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit, what are these? What? Level four. Just a quick level up. Ah. Someone's shooting me now. This guy. Ah, uh, get, get owned, bitch. There's another guy up there. There he is. So I think you get critical hits when you shoot them in the head. I don't think it's based off of a... Um, just like a percentage chance. It's more so a... Let's try this ability. Alright, so we've got a bomb there. Oh crap, they moved. Oh well, I'll just shoot them. It's kind of hard to aim stuff in like an MMO feel game. In a first person shooter. I don't think anyone's really been that successful with an MMO first person game before. It tends to be the There's World of Warcraft here. way that works you the most. See something floating in the air? You have to kill it. Kill the hive wizard. Hello! They're not wizards. So the hive wizard floats in the air apparently. That's what the ghost just told me. Okay. Picked up plenty of ammo. I don't know where from. I think these little box things that appear on the ground when you kill enemies is like ammo or maybe health or even currency as well. I'm not too sure. That looks like health because it's green. So we don't, we don't actually need health just yet. I think the health regenerates as well. Because I can't actually see my health bar now, so I'm guessing it's full. Boy. The wizard's here. I think this section of the game as well is closed off just for me, because it's like the introduction. It's not actually hit the MMO aspect of the game just yet. Here's the wizard. Let's throw a thing at him. Purple thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it does. It just does damage. Look at it ticking up on him. Just wreck him. He's got loads of friends! <laughs> Shit! Whoa. He dives pretty quick, so it's good. I'll just punch him in the face. Nice. Right, there's the wizard again. He's got armor, so we have to take the armor down first, it looks like. Like a shield. Oh crap. I nearly took him out straight away though, and then I started getting um, surrounded by all his minions. There we go. Uh, you got to keep shooting him just to get his armor down before you can actually do damage to him. See if we can get him again with that, um, that explosive we throw once it off, comes off cooldown. Right, we can get a few shots just now before he spawns more enemies. There we go. Took him out. Mission complete. Been on Earth Mission ends in 20 seconds. That wizard came from the moon. I thought we had them contained there. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. It actually plays very smoothly. You know, it's like the, the controls are very nice. I'm not usually a fan of first person shooters just because there's been so many of them and they're not refreshing when you play a new one. But this feels quite good. I like it. I'm interested. It's Glimmer. Okay, I got some currency, it looks like. 208. And some experience. Upgrades. Nova Bomb. That's the thing I was throwing. The purple explosion. Okay, activity rewards. I got 48 kills. 21 precise kills. I got a jacket. Chest armor. It's got 20 defense. I don't think it's got anything else. Any other. Attributes to go with it. Right, let's continue. Whoa, set destination. We've got upgrades. Let's just see what these are. This thing's flashing. Um, upgrade. Those who have start 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 uh, stared into the void are not bound by the laws of space and time. Okay, so can we upgrade this stuff? Vortex Grenade. Grenade that creates a vortex which continually damages enemies trapped inside. Yeah, that's what I was using. So I've already got that. You can also glide, so you jump it while in the air. And it binds to X, so you just double jump and hold X to glide for a bit. Hail an overbomb. Binds to L1 and R1 together at the same time. Hail an explosive bolt of void light at the enemy. Disintegrating those caught within its blast. So that's like a grenade. 
an energy drain, a powerful melee attack which drains energy from enemies and uses it to reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. I think that's why has it got like a progression circle around it? I don't understand what that means. Maybe it has to be full. Be yeah, that has to fill up before you can purchase it. So I can only purchase that right now. I think they're already purchased because they're fully filled in with green. Okay, so let's move on. I think we got a helmet as well, didn't we? It's the same. Then we got a chest actually, didn't we? Yeah, that's an upgrade. So we can equip that. I think we might have picked up that helmet during the combat. It's got the same stats though, so there's not really any point in equipping it. Huh, may as well, why not? It changed the look of my head. We got a new gun as well. It's got a different rate of fire, same damage. Right, let's just keep what we've got for now. Okay, so we need to set a destination. Where the hell do we do that? Uh, we go into this itself. Oh, you click on that itself. <laughs> okay. You have one item waiting for you at the postmaster in the tower. That's the tower. We got Earth. Where are we going? I think we're heading to the tower. Let's launch to the tower. Autographs. Hello. All right, so here we are. We are at the tower. Cameras move to third person. Maybe when you are oh my guy. Maybe when you are in a like a city. This is what looks like a city to like the main hub to the game. Maybe you're going third person. I don't know. I can't seem to go into third pe first person. There's a marker here. This is the postmaster. He told me I had a message waiting. Let's see what this guy is. Postmaster. Okay. Deliveries and messages are left with the postmaster. To be collected by guardians when their travels bring them home. So, welcome home. It's just a thank you message for playing the game. They gave us a hundred currency. Okay. Bye. What else have we got? We've got another green marker. Okay, so this, these are the players walking around. Huh, okay. It's kind of it's kind of strange playing an MMO on a console. I played a little bit of DC Universe, but I wasn't a fan of it. So uh, yeah, what have we got here? This is the Warlock Vanguard. I'm a Warlock, so this is who I see. Select a reward. It's only one option. Okay, the high threat must be answered. Mission reward. So these ones give you strength as well, plus ten. And warping claws. What the heck, whatever that means. Is that what it costs to purchase? Okay, so what are those like grayed out bits as well? Are they, are they activated if I equip that? Increases reload speed with scout rifles. Carry more ammo for pulse rifles. Grenades hit hits restore melee energy. We got a chest piece already, so we've already upgraded the chest a little bit. Actually, we've got strength, intellect, and discipline. Ooh, I have no idea what those stats mean. Discipline. Discipline increases the cooldown time of your grenades, allowing you to use them more often. Okay, so it's cooldown. Reduction. Intellect is probably the damage of stuff. I can imagine, like, the... Intellect reduces the cooldown time of Nova Bomb. Silver one reduces the cooldown of grenades. This reduces the time of Nova Bomb. Okay, and strength probably must be damage, surely. Strength reduces the cooldown time of your energy drain. Oh, I have no idea what these things are. Let's get gloves, because intellect sounds like a warlock type thing. Just the one. I think they're all useful to me. Whoa, what's this? I say this, this is the vendor then. We have got just gear, and you all cost 70 glimmer. So this is warlock armor, vanguard armor. Was vanguard a class? I can't remember. Symbol of the sorcerer. You only got defense on them, so it's not like I'm gaining any damage dealing stuff from them. 
These are all level 6. I don't think we need this, shot, this stuff just yet. Let's save the Glimmer for something more important. Especially when we're such a low level. It's not going to make much of an impact, I don't think. Alright, can we equip those gloves we just purchased? There they are. So we can equip them gloves. <laughs> it's got one more defense chest piece. We haven't got anything else to equip. Alright, so where are we heading next? We are going up there. The tower gunsmith can equip you with better weapons. It looks like that's where we're heading next. Towards the gunsmith. Maybe upgrade our damage. Where is he? He's in this corner. Whoa, look at that planet! Is that a planet? It's not a planet, it's just like a bloody Death Star or something. <laughs> Alright, so, hello, Mr. Gunsmith. Arm yourself, choose a weapon. Okay. Auto rifle, pulse rifle, scout rifle, that's like a sniper probably, and a pistol. Hand cannon. Can I compare? Yeah, you can. R2. That compares to what I've got equipped, I believe. I'm currently using an auto rifle. That's got more damage, so it's better. Pulse rifle. Pulse rifles fire in short, sharp bursts. This side, Umbra variant, is a common example. Accurized for long range work. So I think that's maybe like an SMG to assault rifle distance, and then that's like a bit longer range with a burst fire. That's a marksman's weapon, so sniper. Should probably just go for. That's got better stats, better impact and range, the pulse rifle. So I'm going to go for the pulse rifle. Can I click on that now to equip it? I don't think I can. Alright, there's more weapons here that we can also equip. I'm not going to, still not going to purchase them just yet because I don't think we need to. Okay, let's equip what we just purchased. There's the rifle. We've got, two, we've got a few rifles to pick from now. That's the one we just, we just equipped. We just bought it, sorry. So we've, put, we've also got shotguns. They're primary weapons and they're special weapons. A shotgun is classed as a special weapon, I think. Okay. So we've parted the ship right to check on your ship. Oh, we've got a ship. Aren't we special? Alright, so we've seen the introduction to the game. The, the little tutorials, hints, and showing us how the game works, the vendors. I think this is probably going to be the next stage in the game, the um, the ship, maybe move on to the next objective. So let's end this here. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll, um, I'll get the next part up as soon as possible. Alright, thanks for watching, see ya!